nonsense. Mr. Nonsense had no sense at all. Not a scrap. I mean, he lived in a tree. A tree. Can you imagine? Why do you live in a tree? Mr. Happy asked him one day. Because, replied Mr. Nonsense, I tried living on the ground, but that was too high up, so I moved to a tree to be nearer to the ground. What nonsense, snorted Mr. Happy. Thank you, replied Mr. Nonsense. And do you know what Mr. Nonsense liked to eat? Porridge. Nothing wrong with that, you might say. But porridge on toast, really? Why do you like porridge on toast, Mr. Nosy? Asked him one day. Because, replied Mr. Nonsense, I tried porridge on sandwiches and I didn't like them. And do you know what, Mr. Nonsense? When Mr. Nonsense sleeps every day, every night, in a rowing boat, in his bedroom, in his house, up a tree. Why do you sleep in a rowing boat? Mr. Strong asked him one day. Because, replied Mr. Nonsense, I tried sleeping in a motorboat, but I was somewhat uncomfortable. Mr. Nonsense lives, as you might very well expect, in a country called Nonsense Land. Now, I know somebody else who lives in Nonsense Land. Do you? That's right, Mr. Silly! Mr. Silly and Mr. Nonsense were close friends and saw a lot of each other. Mr. Nonsense was often round at Mr. Silly's house playing jigsaw puzzles. They used to throw the pieces at each other. How silly! And Mr. Silly was often round at Mr. Nonsense's house playing cards. They used to tear them up and see who could get the most pieces out of one card. What nonsense! However, this story is about the time it snowed in Nonsense Land. It didn't very often snow, but one winter it did. Now tell me, what color is the snow? Hmm. No. In Nonsense Land, when it snows, it doesn't snow white snow. It snows yellow snow. Don't ask me why, but it does. Yellow snow. And when Mr. Silly woke up one morning, the hall of Nonsense Land was covered. I see, he said when he looked out of his bedroom window. Snow! And he was so excited, he rushed to Mr. Nonsense's house. Mr. Nonsense was asleep in a boat. Wake up! cried Mr. Silly. Wake up and come and look out of the window. Whatever on earth is it? Grumbled Mr. Nonsense, rubbing his sleep out of his eyes as he got up and went across to his bedroom window. I say, he said, looking out. Custard! That is a custard, you silly banana, cried Mr. Silly. That's snow! He rushed downstairs. Come on, he called, and that day, Mr. Silly and Mr. Nonsense had one of the very best light days of their lives. They had a snowball fight. Mr. Silly's snowballs were round. Mr. Nonsense's snowballs that somehow or other came out sort of square. Hmm? They built a snowman. A very silly, nonsensical sort of snowman. What? Come on, 
on, said Mr. Nonsense that afternoon. Let's go tobogganing. But we don't have a toboggan, said Mr. Silly. Oh, no, we don't, agreed Mr. Nonsense. Mr. Silly thought. Oh, yes, we do, he cried. And Mr. Silly ran back to Mr. Nonsense's house and came back with his bed. Wee! They shouted as they slid faster and faster down the hill in their rowing boat toboggan. It was a wonderful day, and that evening, after having supper together, porridge pie, Mr. Nonsense suggested that they played a game. What shall we play? asked Mr. Nonsense. Mr. Silly. Draughts, suggested Mr. Nonsense. I've forgotten how to play draughts, cried Mr. said Mr. Silly. Oh, it's easy, replied Mr. Nonsense and went around and opened all the doors and windows. There we are, he said. Draught! What nonsense! The end. Nonsense, seriously.